Red Cat Gen 7 Pro modification so far. Uh, painted the front, tried the shocks and position up, position down. I put them back to where they uh, where they came. Uh, 5,000 milliamp battery. Let me get the thing out of the way. A little longer run time. Took the body off, the roof rack off. Um, have two kickstands on the side. Acting as supports also in there. Um, get over here. With that tire on the rear. Give that a try. See how it does as far as weight. If it's too much weight in the back, then that's going to go. And then, yeah, I took the body off, put the frame, the little clamps that hold the side of the roof rack are moved over to the fenders to use as supports. It is right, let me get my finger in there, this guy, this little clip. So you just basically bend the fender out of the way and lift it up so it can tilt. Oh, uh, let's see, what else? Took the... Uh, Accessories. I started painting those, so get a shot of those there. Turned out all right. Not too bad. And the axe. The shadow out of there. The axe turned out pretty good. A couple little uh, fake scuffs in it. And let's see if we get it. There we go. In the axe blade. And the shovel, got the handle set right. We got seven different colors in here. There's sage, sand, tan, uh, black. What else do I use? Terra, um, gray, yellow. There's a whole bunch on that. And then the, uh, the high lift, put some details on that and touched it up a little. Try to make it look uh, as realistic as possible for, you know, such a little thing. And then uh, I modified the roof rack, cut out a section, and then welded it back together. You can see right there a little bit, and right in here, let me see if I can lift it up and show you. See right there, it's been modified, glued back together, I took out this section that much basically make it fit onto the front so then you'll have the, the light bar coming through down like that through the through the lights and I had to do uh, two little grooves to cut it out to fit the uh, shock towers up through there so that's what that is where's it lined up so it'll sit into there let me see if I can sit it down on there. I'm trying to do it end film. Line it up so. Where is it? Right there. See how that sits down right on it? Let's cut out just a, the right amount. And I took the uh, body and put it over here on the Everest 10. So the Gen 7 Pro bodies on the Everest 10, the fenders and all the goodies off of it, that was moved over to that one. And then uh, they sent me the, the body that's not cracked, so it's got the fenders and all the accessories and the goodies on it. So that's what it all looked like, original, like I showed you in the previous video, I don't know if you saw that one. So we got... Uh, some extra little goodies. So there's the Everest 10 original body sitting over on that guy. And then I put it over here. I had a system where I just glued post in here and the post slid over the body mounts, the body post. It didn't work out. They're flimsy and it was bouncing around and everything. So I had to actually drill holes in the side of it now. It's not flimsy, it can only move so much, you know. There's the holes there, so this guy's been uh, pretty modified. 
It's getting there. Everything's going on with that. There's the wraith. It's looking pretty good. Here's the uh, trail honcho with the new frame. Hub extenders, shocks. Ah, everything's been pretty much upgraded. New servo. New uh, speed control. Everything frame. There's nothing really much left. Uh, maybe the motor. I think this is the only thing that's original, really, here. And the uh, axles themselves. Those are original. Everything else has pretty much been replaced. You guys have seen the Arma Granite. It's got its little dune buggy on the back. Out, ready for the trail. And yeah, so I got all that going on. Here's all the goodies for the for the Gen 7 Pro. And it's got the frame, of course. I used the cage in here, the spare tire from the roof, and then all the roof rack stuff. Like I said, I had to cut it and shorten it up to get it to fit as a, a hood, basically. And it's getting uh, a little use. Getting some scratches here and there. Rubbing it against the rocks. Played with the shocks. See where I'm going with that. So that's all set and working. And then if you saw the video with the uh, King Kong, blew a, a shock. So got the shock all fixed up and cleaned up and ready to go and we got the uh, front tires well I had all four original tires on it and then in the middle of the video we switched it and put the ones from the um, Wraith the ones that came with the Wraith and put those on there so the wheel came flying off of her and then here's the bodies for those guys the trail honcho, trail honcho and the uh, stampede and the controllers and the Rutkus with the torment body. There's the um, what is that? That's the uh, Temper Gen 2 by ECX. We got the little uh, Traxxas. Um, what is that? Letrax uh, Teton. Here is the uh, actual torment with. The ruckus body on it so it can get scratched up in goodies. There's the slash over here and a few controllers and some race cars. It's getting a little dark over here in the corner, sorry. But that uh, torment body is just so nice and so pristine. I keep a little piece of plastic usually across it, it's underneath it right now, but. That way it stays in good shape and everything. So some of the things that are going on over here. And that's about it. We got the ramps and the material to make your own modified pieces. There's the uh, test ramp for the articulation, the popsicle stick. Um, we call the uh, toothpick stand. All the accessories and goodies and tools to work on all these guys. Got a little bit of everything sitting around here, just boxes and boxes of fun stuff to play with. And then, of course, uh, over here you got uh, some little parts and pieces and cases and toolboxes. So you need lots of tools to work on all the goodies and everything. And then we'll end with taking you over here. Here's the uh, Traxxas X-Max. In all her glory. She's right over here. Here's the body. There's a few of the RC cars and some updates on things going on. Take care, everybody.